Hey, Rich Radio is the voice of DJ Scream on your airways. My dog Moran is here. We have a special, Yo. special guest in the building by the name of India Jackson. Hey. Now, we have to explain who India Jackson is. First, I'm going to tell my story, or we can tell the story how we know it, mm-hmm. and then we'll let India Jackson tell the truth. Mm-hmm. Now, we went online, yep. and they said there was a girl. She's smart. She's she smart. She go to Georgia State. She's five. You know what I'm saying? She's five. And basically, you know what I'm saying? She's a mother, and she would like to have some money to be a part of a NASA program mm-hmm. and to go to space. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So she put it out there. It went viral. Everybody like, hey, y'all need to rock with Shouty because we're trying to send Shouty to space. She's yep. from Atlanta. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And then a whole bunch of people gave her about a million dollars. And then, you know what I'm saying? Now she's going to be in the NASA program and she actually going to space next month. Yep. Now that's how we <laughs> interpreted it. For sure. That's how, that's so how it now Indian Jackson could tell us the truth. Some of you know her as the NASA girl, but we want to call her the NASA girl. We want to call her India Jackson. Welcome to Hood Rich Radio. What's up, man? All right, so, be him. so tell the proper story. <laughs> tell the proper story. The proper story is We that, can hear you um, from Atlanta, from your accent and your voice. From my accent, y'all can yep. hear it, okay. Martin yeah. Luther King High School, right? MLK, okay, yeah. okay, Georgia King State University. There GSU, you go. GSU, yeah, went straight into GSU when I was 17. There you go. Um, I got my two math degrees from uh, GSU. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started teaching college at 26 years old, all okay. of the metro Atlanta colleges. Atlanta Metro, Atlanta Tech, Georgia Piedmont. Uh, I got so many students out there. I know they're listening right now. You a nerd. Uh, I am. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm a nerd nerd, but that's okay, though. There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Okay. Uh, a nerd invented the iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And got a check, too. Mm-hmm. But, um, yep, yep, yep. I'm getting my PhD in physics right now, and uh, I applied for a NASA internship. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got it, and we will get a stipend, but students have to pay for their own travel and housing. Okay. Um, which I'm fine with. That's a part of being a and scientist. And where's this program? It's in Houston, Texas. It's in Houston, Texas. It's for not 10 in weeks space, people. Summer. Okay, it's not in space. <laughs> it's, it's in Houston, Houston Texas. Texas. Yes. All right. So um, I was talking to my cousin about it, and uh, she said, "You know what? I have an idea. Uh, I'll hit you back." I was like, "All right." So she hit me back, and she was like, "I started this GoFundMe account for you mm. to um, to pay for the flight, pay for the housing, um, and pay for my my baby jewel summer camp." Mm. I said, "Man, do you really think people gonna?" Give money, and she was like, "Yeah, I think so." I was like, "All right, run it." So she had put it up, and um, and I had uh, posted it on my Facebook page, and then somebody else picked it up. My cousin Camille, she picked it up, she put it on Twitter, and then I ended up getting over it the went, amount. I mean, I retweeted in too. Twenty four yeah. hours, yeah. like everybody was like, "We retweeting, we rock mm-hmm. with it." Yeah, everybody yeah. liked it, and I'm very grateful. I was really shocked, man. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. People from all over the world. Somebody gave me a thousand dollars, but then there were people who gave me a dollar, five dollars. They let me know that they gave me their last. Mm-hmm. They really believe in me if they gave me. Mm-hmm. Now don't let us down. Now I know you won't, but don't let <laughs> oh, us down. Oh man, that pep's so high, You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my best. You know. Yeah, I always have. Absolutely. So what would you say to somebody else out there that um might have the intelligence, might have the ambition and the vision to do something great, but they might not have the means? Um, you have to you have to push forward. You have to find a way in order to get things done. Um, fundraising is a part of being a scientist. So mm. there were quite a few people who was like, Well, how come NASA is not paying for this? Well, I'm a I'm a intern. Mm-hmm. I don't actually work there, work there yet. And um, I'm still a student. So as a scientist, we have to write proposals. We have to write grants in order to fund our own education anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just thank my cousin so much for coming up with this idea and helping me do it. But uh, you have to push forward. I mean, I took a large pay cut. I was teaching at Atlanta Metro full time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I wanted to pursue my passion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I quit once I got into the PhD program, I took a large pay cut, man. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a lot of sacrifices. I had to walk from my house to go and take a final exam in extra galactic astronomy. What? And uh, uh, I live in the Mechanicsville area, and I had to walk mm-hmm. to school because my car broke down. Because I, I mean, because I was broke. I'm still broke. I just. <laughs> no, that's tight, though. That's tight. So, I mean, how do you feel about everything up until this point? You feel like you're on the right path? I do. I feel that I am on my path. Okay. Um, You know, there was a lot of naysay in between. Mm. Um, How did you deal with the naysayers to be able to say, today I'm making a lot of money and now I'm walking to take a test? um, They didn't understand. um, Mm. And I accept that. Um, Let's just say that people equate money with success. Mm Mm-hmm. 
that's something that I never have done. That's the reason why I cut off. I told my cousin, cut off that GoFundMe account because it will spill over. We got to 8.5K. Mm. The amount that she was looking for was 8,000. Cut it off. And people mm. have been begging for me to cut it back on, but I don't want to mm. um, because wow. I got what was necessary in order to do what I need to do. Mm. Uh, so I understand where they're coming from. It didn't make sense. Why would somebody... Uh, take a pay cut to go back to school to do this. And uh, when I say, when I tell people um, I'm doing science to make history, not money, mm -hmm. then uh, that puts things into perspective for them typically. So you have to do things out of passion mm -hmm. whenever you want to create history. Mm -hmm. I mean, you walk through Mechanicsville by yourself. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean well, I'm from Atlanta, so I mean, I ain't, still, like, you know, it is what it is. What, at what age do you feel like you, you knew you were in love with science? Uh, let's see. I, I was always great at math. Mm -hmm. Um, in the eighth grade, I was at Salem Middle School and we had the opportunity to, um, enroll in a program called the, the, the Fernbank Scientific Tools and Techniques Program. We had to apply. Me and my best friend, we both got into it and we were exposed to, um, science programs that little black children from the east side wouldn't have been exposed to. We mm. saw ornithology, botany, physics, astronomy and once I stepped inside of that planetarium I already knew what was up I knew mm. what I wanted to do and my best friend became a biologist she taught at Washington High School for over 10 years and now she's the STEM coordinator I believe so wow that's good. wow uh, what what's some of the things that you tell like you know young people or maybe maybe even your own daughter you know just to motivate them um the number one thing is to just keep pushing to keep going. I know that it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. And you have to go with what you feel because along this path, you won't believe how many people told me not to pursue science, mm. to just go and get a check, you know, um, stop at your bachelor's degree, go and teach, um, uh, elementary school. Mm. Don't go straight in to get your master's degree. What's wrong with you? Um, don't go and teach college part time, go and teach high school full time and make that money. Mm. Don't quit teaching college full time. You know, why would you take a pay cut and go into this PhD program? Mm -hmm. Last summer, um, I got into a NASA summer school program. Don't do that. You got a child. Who going to help you with her? This year, don't do this NASA internship. You got a child. Don't do it. All the way up to this point and probably beyond. Mm -hmm. People are going to tell you, you know, not to do it. And then you have people like my family. Mm -hmm. My family broke the mold and told me to Keep pushing. We got you. We love you. I have a very strong family support system, and I understand that a lot of people don't have that. Mm -hmm. But I do. I do. And they're all from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> we from all parts, going from the east to the west to Adamsville, mm -hmm. you know. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the best thing about Atlanta for you, like, these days currently, and what's the worst thing? I always say potholes is the worst thing for me. The worst thing for me is I don't want to say the 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 fluctuation of people because I love the people I mm. love that they love Atlanta. Mm. It's just man the traffic the over traffic the years I've got man is it's insane. traffic is in a crisis state. It's trash. Yes, I I literally left from Lithonia to avoid that traffic going up twenty. Mm. Um, I would rather walk to school than to sit in traffic right, from right. Lithonia. And the best thing about Atlanta, what it's always been for me, is always. The music, mm. man. Mm. What? Who's some of your favorite artists of all time or right well, now? Well, well, right now, let's focus on right now. Um, my favorite artist right now. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody knows except us. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I love. Uh, of course, I love Cardi. I love okay. her music. Okay. Um, I also love um, Suki. Okay. Suki Hana? Suki Hana. Yes. Wow, you from Eastside. <laughs> <laughs> She's been here before too. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I am I'm I'm 32. So the type of music that I listen to, you know, Project Pat is my favorite artist there you of go. all time. Yeah. Project, Project Pat. Pat. He was here as well. Yes. Really? Yeah. Um, that's like my ago. family. That's Man. like my family. Project Pat is my favorite of all time. The whole rhythm and the way that he rock, you mm. know, all these new artists, they trying to keep up with that, man. Of course, mm. I love Play a Fly. Okay. I love Underground. You got a little Memphis yeah. in you, don't you? Yeah. I yeah. Love, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, can, I can do a whole list, little chat, all that. Mm. All right. You know, um... So Atlanta has always been a haven for 
music, of course, I didn't mention the Atlanta greats. You know, they don't have to be mentioned. Mm-hmm. You know, we know who great Dungeon mm-hmm. Family. You yeah. know, Outkast, Goody Mob. Yeah. You know, Tip, yeah. of course. Jeezy, oh man, one of my favorite albums of all time. So, know. so being that you you know you 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 are into science, I'm sure that it comes with a lot of studying and just analyzing and so forth. How do you <sighs> unwind? What's a day for you like when you just want to just enjoy yourself? Oh, when I want to enjoy myself, I. I watch TV. I love TV. Mm. Um, I love science fiction, man. Mm. Love science fiction. Um, I, you know, really, that's about it. Science fiction, and I read books. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the Harry Potter books. I love Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, you're a nerd. Um, yeah, I'm a nerd nerd. I love <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, God. Um, and then after Star Wars goes off, um, you know, I'll say, let's watch Don't Be a Menace. Um, that's how my mind rocks. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. How you feel about Bill Nye? About Bill Nye, I mean, we grew up with him, and he grew up with us. Mm. So I'm feeling him right now. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, when I was younger, I was like, man, he's he's kind of corny, but he's cool, you know. <laughs> um, and now it's like, oh, he cool, cool, yeah. you know, because we grown now, so he can keep it real. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So no explain doubt. your tattoo on your chest. Like, what is that? It's the definite. Uh, it's the definition of a definite integral. Okay. Um, and it's just my favorite. There's nothing philosophical to it. It's just mm-hmm. my favorite math formula. Okay. Um, well, well, I, I got a math degree, but I don't remember that. What 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 formula is that? It's not Pythagorean. No, it's not. It's, what no. is it? I don't know. Um, I don't let know. Me see. Let me let me, <laughs> let me try to it, it, explain how it would in the classroom. Do okay. you know how to find the area of a box or a rectangle? Uh, sometimes I do. Right? Most times I don't. Not necessarily. It's length times width. Trigonometry, I think. Oh, I never took trigonometry. Well, no, nah, trig is 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 really circles and stuff like oh, that. Right, but right, um, right. length times width, right? Mm-hmm. We all know that. Okay, actually, yeah. I do know that. So basically, uh, what this formula is is um, you're you're using infinite boxes or rectangles to try to find the area under a curve. Mm. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, that's the way that I explain it to my students. <laughs> and then um, you know, finding the area of a rectangle is simple. Mm-hmm. It's length times <laughs> width, mm-hmm. and then you add them. And then you get this. Okay. And that's how I teach my students. All right. It's just my favorite one. I was leaving the field of math going into physics, so I said, eh, let me do this real quick. Okay. All right. That's what it is. That's what it is. India Jackson, we appreciate you coming to Hood Rich Radio. You're welcome anytime. Yes, Thank you. Ma'am. Give everybody that Instagram so they can follow you oh, and yes, holler at you. Follow at me at astronomical underscore beauty. There it Show. is. You know what it is. Hood Rich Radio 96.7 to beat. Big shouts out to India Jackson.